Hello everyone, it's longshot 441 here, and today you noticed I'm not in Black Ops 3. I'm currently playing Minecraft. Now, the reason I'm playing Minecraft here today is because today I decided to do a different type of episode than what I would usually do. So, and I intend to make a few more of these videos if I can ever uh, make anything decent. So yeah, here it goes. My first, here's what I wanted to show you. So this is a house I obviously created in creative, but I thought it would be, it looked pretty nice, all things considering to uh, you guys, so. So as you can see, I used green wool, these blocks, made it look all nice and fancy. Let's go on the inside. As you can see, we got a basic house right here. My little armor stand for when I go to sleep and take up my armor, chests and crafting benches and furnaces and as you can see I have tinted glass now you don't have to use the same materials I'm gonna use but you can use any materials that your heart sees fit but I use this because it looked pretty decent to me and please know I'm only in the vanilla version of Minecraft so things might look a bit different when you go to a different thing just be aware of that so here we go I'm going to create show you how to create this house basically off to the side so what I did was a 10 by 8 build, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And, oops, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, and then just basically fill it in. Up, oh, bloody flower, no. Cow, you're not in the video, get out of here. So as you can see, we got a 10 by 8 build. And so what you want to do is leave the corners, but basically replace everything else with um, green stained clay. Now you don't have to use green stained clay, like I said, but it's what I'm using, so just bear in mind with me. So let's build around the outside, connect all these together. Uh, let's go this way. And now let's see, like you, and also, so you, so you see right here, I decided to cut this in. So this is two, three, four. So it's the fourth block will be uh, stone. So let's go over here. Two, three, four. This is going to be stone. Two, three, four, stone. And then I cut both of these out. And these are going to be the doors you see over there. And so. Let's see. And now for the corners, to build up the corners, I went one, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And then it was stairs on top. Let's just take. Ooh. Alright. So two, three, and four. And let's do this for every side. Two, three, four, and okay. Now for these two right here, as you can see, I went up two and then did two at the top. They give it all a little fancy design with the door area. So let's go with that. So two in the top, chibi move. And oh no, I wasn't supposed to get rid of that yet. And do that. Voila! And then start filling in this part with uh, the stained clay. Aha! Now, here's what I did to this. It was basically this part. And I'm pretty sure it was this. Yep, right here. Stone right here. Uh, stone right here. And build... Oh. Build like this. Or actually... No, actually I actually got it wrong. It was supposed to be... Yeah, this is supposed to be it. Alright. Alright, do this. And then this is basically can be your window for this side. You can make it bigger, but due to the smallness of this house, I decided that it's going to be like that. All right, we're going to do this. A bit cheapy. You're not in the video. This, like, oh, no, 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 not like that. Okay, we got that. God damn. All right, so let's see. And for the back. 
I lined it up perfectly with the door right here so you can see I put it like this. So basically my whole design for the windows was just like this and make it proportional to each side. So it looks pretty fancy when you're coming outside or you go inside when you want to take a nap or... Alright sheepy, you have to leave this building for you. You can go find yourself a farm somewhere else. Ain't no Farmer John's around here. No bad me, boy. And all right, now I'm gonna do the roof first and then I'll fill in the floor later. So what I did for this one is, as you can see, I did, I used stone stairs, stone brick stairs, and I did them like this. Oh, not like that. Like this. Did this all the way around. Oh, but it's not all the way around. All right, and here we go. And now for the next step, I did this, was just paste them basically like this, and keep building up. Use a block. Oh, I'm having, uh, I'm having problems here. I'm trying to build. Just like this. Just keep doing this. Ooh. I would use a speed potion for this, but honestly, I'd probably fuck up more than I would uh, like to. And so, this is when it comes to this part. So, I just decided to do this. And basically put stairs facing like this now you can change the top if you want it might look a little ugly but I think it looks pretty decent for what I was using at the time okay now here we go for this so I want to get rid of this and you basically re replace the whole floor with uh, spruce wood because I find spruce wood pretty uh, decent building material to use and it looks pretty nice sometimes yeah to the floor here. Aha! Now the thing you want to do is light up your building. So the mobs will spawn inside of it and we can actually see what we're doing here. So. I used spruce wood doors because spruce wood honestly looks the best to me into this and like that over there you can see the little pattern I had going on. I did two to this, one like this, one like this, and then basically the the and have this like this. It might look shitty to you, but it's probably like the best way it's the best thing you could honestly do right now. And so We've got the roof finished, we've got the outside, and we finished the floor inside. Now all we need to do is put the glass on, which is, I use blue stained glass. So just fill in the windows. As I said before, you don't have to use the same materials as I do. You can choose whatever you want, and voila! Now I did the one extra trick to the house. I use oak wood planks to fill this up because I don't usually like looking at the top area of my house because it looks incomplete to me. I'm a little bit of a perfe uh, perfectionist. So I just fill this up with uh, oak wood. Honestly, you can use any wood that floats your boat. And voila! We now have our perfect house to survive the Minecraft world. Just also know, creepers might blow this shit up. So yeah, be aware of that. So let's go outside. And as you see, we have our perfect house. And also remember to place torches on these, so that way once you're out in the distance, you can spot your house pretty easily, and it keeps mobs from spawning right here. Now, as you can see, we have the exact duplicate of this house. I just showed you how to make it. And using your survivor worlds, when you want to build something yourself, some sort of house that looks pretty decent, and to begin them before you decide to use more expensive materials, like, uh, say, steel or... Iron, not steel, iron, goat, or something, I don't know, lapis, if you ever find it, and, um, yeah, 
I hope you all like this little mini building tutorial on how to build yourself a house. That looks pretty decent, if I might add. Hope to see y'all again in the next episode. Take care.